he could be a, a real stiff river. Uh, if he if he didn't like you, or there was reason for it, or you were doing something that, you know, you know, if, if you go in there and try to act like a big star before you earned your stripes, that sort of thing. But we got on a plane one day and we were flying. I forget even where to, but uh, the entire first class was all wrestlers upgraded, and one guy, one one uh, 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 ordinary citizen, not a non wrestler, a uh, civilian, if you will, and. Of course, he's sitting next to Kurt Hennig. Kurt was in row two. I was in row three on the aisle, and Kurt was across from me to my left in the, in the window seat. And the rest of the first class is all these wrestlers. So, you know, Kurt talked to this guy for a few minutes and then tells the guy, I heard him say, you know, really tired, need to get some sleep. We have a TV taping tonight. And tries to go to sleep. About five, six minutes later, the guy wakes him up. He says, yeah, I hate to bother you again, but goes on some more, and does this like two or three times. Now, we all know, all of us sitting there watching this, we know at some point Kurt's going to rip this guy. The guy gets up to go to the bathroom. Now, to know Kurt, you know, the reason I, I, I can laugh about it, you guys don't know him, but Kurt wasn't the kind of guy to go, hey, guys, watch this. He didn't, it, that wasn't Kurt's way. Kurt just stops and puts his hand down his pants, and he's digging around and pulls his hand, finger out, and he takes his finger and he rubs his finger on the rim of the guy's glass. And, you know, I'm sitting in the second, like one row behind him. Look, I'm saying, looks like shit, like, like, like chunks of chocolate on the heads of the guy's glass. And uh, so the guy comes out and he sits down and keeps bugging Kurt. And about five or six times he picks his glass up to take a drink and puts like three inches from his lips. And we all go, <laughs> like tense up, like he's going to do it. And then he stops and he puts the glass down. And he did it like five or six times. I'm thinking, he had to smell it. He knows what's going on. He's not going to... Finally, just when I think that, he picks the glass up and he takes a big, long drink of the glass and he pulls it away from him. He looks at the glass like in his hand and he's like licking his lips and he goes, Stewardess, can I have a clean glass? This one tastes like shit. <laughs> <laughs> and, and we're all cracking up and the bird's sitting in the window seat. All you could see was his shoulders bouncing up and down, you know? <laughs> that was Kurt. 